fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. An update of the new fish room. You can see some new stuff. Grab yourself a snack and a beverage, perhaps some homemade ice cream like I'm gonna have. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, we've had some movement in the fish room. It's not really what I wanted, but it's what I had to do. Uh, <coughs> I'm fine. I actually just choked on my own spit. Uh, <laughs> so here we set up the 45-ish gallon uh, tank that used to house a flower horn. And uh, I'm slowly but surely catching all the guppies out and putting them in here. Um... I'm going to do a fishing cycle. Those two filters are cycled. They're from other tanks that were down here, but uh, I am going to do the fishing cycle method. I've already dosed with ACCR, which is uh, the same basic stuff as Seachem Safe. It's the Fritz brand. I like it better. I get mine at kgeaquatics.com. Uh, message key. And uh, he'll hook you up. You can order it on his website. If you have questions, message him. He will hook you up. These mutt guppies that are going to come from this tank are going to be fabulous. Uh, I've caught out some of the pond guppies. Like, look at that big, ginormous female. She was from the pond. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens. So, essentially, I just fill this tank with water. I put the two seeded sponge filters, a bunch of plants. I found a piece of pothos that hadn't been in water for about a week. Still doing okay. And uh, I caught, I don't know, 20, 30 guppies maybe, put them in here. Uh, I dosed heavily with the ACCR, heavily for a regular dose, just to neutralize any ammonia and nitrite that is produced over the next 48-ish hours. And yeah, uh, my goal is to get rid of all these tanks this week. Um, I am going to need probably two for Corys and Plecos. I've lost quite a few plecos because it was so cold down here. Um, I lost my big breeders of my regular bristlenose. I'm a little sad about that, but it's my own fault for not getting it done. I have the Aquarium Co-op Linear Piston Air Pump. I just hooked it up to some old uh, piping that I've had from the old fish room. I do have one valve completely open as a bleed off because it's quite powerful for just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine drops. Um, but it's what I have. Uh, it's what I'm going to use uh, for the time being. I don't like it sitting there, but that's what I got. Uh, my contractor was down here today figuring out the disaster that's going to be insulating. I probably have three weeks to wait before he can do it. I also need my nephew to come by, who's an electrician, to move some electrical, fix some stuff, add a shit ton Oops, sorry. A poop ton of outlets and uh, some switches. So uh, we are going to insulate the ceiling. Uh, we probably will end up insulating the walls, but uh, we're not really sure we're going to do it. Not sure what that is. You guys think it's a cistern or a coal bin? I would guess a coal bin, um, but I it's sealed off. I don't know, so... Maybe Jimmy Hoff is buried there. I don't, I don't know. It's a Jersey joke if you guys get it. Anyway, uh, oh, I also hooked up temporarily just the water line. So the hot comes in there. The cold comes in there. It goes to the mixing valve, comes out about 80 degrees. It's as low as I can get it. And this fitting doesn't look like it's on right, but it is. There we go. Sorry, guys. I know it's great camera work. Um, coincidentally, my plumbers, who... Uh, did a great job, at least I thought. Forgot a clamp there, so when I turned the water on, it leaked. But I had extra rings, and I put them on, and there we go. Um, if you guys are plumbers or know anything about well water, I saw a video on TikTok where all the copper and brass that uh, was in the well, on a well system, had corroded over some years. So that got me thinking, is that why they have these crimp fittings? And not the rings. I don't know. I haven't researched it yet. You guys might be like, just open Google. But I'm just asking. Because um, all of these are plastic. All the connectors are plastic. And these are aluminum, not copper or brass like the other rings. So 
House was built in 1918. I'm just looking, as we're talking, I'm just looking to see if I can see any other fittings that are copper brass. Now see, my plumber put that brass fitting in, so I'm thinking it's okay. All right, sorry, just something shiny, you know how I get. Um, all right, so what did I do? I hooked up the hose, which I told you, just to get the right temperature water. Uh, I hooked up the airline temporarily. It's not staying like that. I just haven't done anything else because I didn't have time. I had to get this stuff up and running. I put that tank there. You might be saying, Mike, why is it leaking? It's not leaking. Um, I just, I added a little airline tubing underneath for the drain. Let's see if we can see it right there. Not airline tubing, but drain tubing. And there's a floor drain there. And it might be dripping just out of here. I don't really care. It's a concrete floor. It's going to go into a floor drain. All right, folks, that does it for the update. I just wanted to give you guys progress. Uh, we have a disaster over here with a bunch of tanks. And uh, we've got more tanks over here. And uh, there's still uh, the big tanks left at my old house. So that's that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here's my workstation. I'm using this new Fusion single step. It's a little spendy. This was, uh, I think, $15 or $16. The two cans of the regular is like $10. And the two cans of the water stuff is like $13 or something. So I figured I'd try it, splooge on it, and see what happens. <laughs> splooge. Anyway, that does it, folks. Have a great day. See you. Bye. I have the aquarium co-op. Um, yeah, that's a brain fart, folks.